in Rochester, New York. Oh, wait, now <laughs> she's fighting her. After pulling over to drop off her passengers, a rideshare driver's dash cam records a fight between three women in the middle of the street. The driver has cautioned her passengers, a mother and three small children, to wait until the brawl blows over before exiting the vehicle. And they gonna all get back in the same car together? I'm nervous to get out with the babies. And one of my babies actually. Well, I was like, wait. Which might just save her life. Oh, no. oh, don't even run. YouTube town family, what's the biz? Y'all already know what it is, man. Positive vibes always, all days. You know how I'm rocking, and it ain't nothing to it but to do it. So we about to jump right into it. I hope all is well out there. Y'all already know, gotta send that positive energy to my Todd Town family. I appreciate all the love and the support. And if you haven't already, please hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification button so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest content. You dig? You don't want to miss, man. Tune in, tune in, tune in. Anywho, without further ado, welcome to Todd Town. In Indianapolis, an SUV approaches a red light at an intersection as a pedestrian enters the crosswalk. Right. Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> oh, wow. Talk about the catch. Is that a Jaguar? Yeah, that's an F type. The F type is the SUV the runs the red light. It is T boned uh, by a car okay. coming from the left, wow. sending it hurtling toward the pedestrian. Did he get out the way? Missing him by inches. Oh, okay. oh boy, and ultimately. Angels. Landing it on top of another car that is approaching the intersection. That's crazy. In total, six, six cars, cars are impacted by the crash. Crazy. According to the driver with the dash cam, no one is seriously injured. Hey, so remember, shit. green is go. Red is. Wow. They must have been on their phone or something. Yeah, you get it. They ran that mode. They weren't even trying to slow down. I-95 South in St. Augustine, Florida. Mm, Florida. The dash cam of a tractor trailer records as it travels in the far right lane. Thus far, a fairly routine journey. But watch the left rear view mirror closely. Uh, hey. Holy Another semi carrying 60,000 pounds of sand, barrels into the side of the tractor trailer from the adjacent lane Jeez. and flips it so violently that its cabin detaches from its trailer. Yeah, what was he on? Holy the driver of the semi that was hit is stunned and unsure of what to do. Other motorists arrive on the scene and join him in checking on the driver of the truck that flipped, who's still trapped in the cabin. What they find is miraculous. Oh my God, Ryan, I just had a little bad accident. Though badly banged up with two broken legs and multiple cuts and bruises, the driver is alive. According to the driver with the dash cam, the trucker had fallen asleep at the wheel, causing him to lose control of his vehicle and slam into the other semi. Danger, danger. Another good reminder, if you're feeling sleepy on the road, pull over, pull over. especially when driving a 30-ton truck. Don't take that risk. Holy Crazy. Dogs seem to love cars for a number of reasons. The fresh air. Frank. The companionship. And the unending sense of adventure. He loves it. But that sense of adventure can 
can sometimes go too far. It's rush hour near Golden, Colorado. A man is driving eastbound on I-70 when his dash cam captures a large dog sticking its head out of an SUV's window. Seconds later, a small white dog does the same. Then, it does the unthinkable. Oh. The dog leaps from the window uh, and rolls several break times, a I always directly in front of the driver's I always car. Picture that happening when I see dogs doing that. He appears hurt and I is bet. on the edge of the high speed lane. I figured I look like he broke his leg. When? Oh That's my God. Crazy. Safe again. Wow. In the arms of his owner. Yeah, well, hey. But the witness, understandably shaken up, calls his wife moments later. The guy in the left lane, just in front yeah, of me. Yeah, that window was a little, little far, too far down. Right I mean, I always, when I see that right going on, I'm like, man. They, These little dogs, they stick their head out the window, and then pretty soon they fall up. Man, I'm hair keeping our dogs' off windows all the rolled up. Poor little Good dog. advice for <laughs> dog owners everywhere. Oh my God. In Rochester, New York. Oh wait, now she's fighting her. After pulling over to drop off her passengers, a rideshare driver's dash cam records a fight between three women in the middle of the street. The driver has cautioned her passengers, a mother and three small children, to wait until the brawl blows over before exiting the vehicle. And they gonna all get back in the same car together? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Though the altercation is seemingly settled, the, the mother stays put. I'm nervous to get out with the babies. And one of my babies actually. Wow, well, like, wait, wait. Which might just save her life. Oh, no. oh, don't even oh damn. My, my kids are in here. Oh, my baby, baby. Wow. Oh, my oh, baby. My <laughs> the vehicle plows directly into the rideshare car. Yeah, man, because if she was in the process of trying to get those kids out, a door could have slammed, it hit the, you know, that could have been bad. They, they was better off kept. According to the rideshare driver, she and the mother free the children from their car seats as passersby take them to safety. When the mother confronts the women in the vehicle that rammed them, they take off. <laughs> Thankfully, Goofy. no one is injured in the crash. Goofy. No, Goofy. <laughs> My kids are in here! That's My baby guys! It remains unclear why the car with the three women drove directly into the rideshare vehicle. But the rideshare driver believes that the women may have still been fighting they inside were. the car. That's exactly what was going on. Still According fighting in the, the car, she's trying to put in the The women in the other off. car have not been identified. Oh, oh, catch the plate. Goofy. Northridge, California. 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 Right. Well, that a this truck bump in a has bat? just been rear-ended. Okay, a little tap, a little tappity tap. You can see that. The truck's driver gets out of the vehicle, hoping to get insurance information from the driver who just hit him. But the driver refuses and appears to attempt to leave the scene. Until he realizes that his front license plate fell off in the collision and is now in the possession of the man he hit. The two immediately get into each other's faces. Yeah, he got that plate. It's a wrap, bro. He trying to get that plate. You're gonna get hurt. The driver of the truck assumes the young man is about to flee and prepares to give chase. But the young man doesn't leave. He goes back to his car. To retrieve something. Oh. His cell phone. Call him up. 
Call him up. The two come face to face again. You have my license plate. Touch me, man. Yeah, fuck? bro, you tried to flee the scene. You... More escalation. The hell? This conflict <laughs> is showing no signs of letting up. In fact, it's about to get a lot more dangerous. Uh -oh. You want to play? <laughs> The young driver continues to taunt the older man. And it's working. Yeah, I do. Oh, you little mother. Oh, shit. I'm gonna run your over. Come on, touch it. The crazy the thing is, is that to block him from leaving. The crazy thing is if the old man got the plate, he should have just drove off. Cause now you you actually putting yourself in a dangerous situation. If you in fact got the plate, you see how bad he want that plate back. You got him. I mean, you got the plate, you know, turn the plate in. That's all you need. That's what they asked for is the plate. So I don't know why he's trying to, uh, you know, egg it on him. I would have took off, you know what I mean? Again, you got to think smart. He's an older man. I mean, seems like he with the shit, but still, man, this young buck, you don't know what he desperate to get away and he want that plate. I would have just drove off with the plate. I mean, that's all you need. If it's, if it's attached to that, if it's attached to something, he wanted that bad. Like, drive off. Why are you trying to? But it does no good. Yeah, I don't get it. You got the plate, bro. And I'm trying to figure out if it's one on the back because your the camera got that. Off. But thanks to the dash cam footage of the incident, the driver of the truck is able to report the accident to the police. To date, no charges have been filed. That's what I don't understand. Like, you got the camera, you got the, I would've. You better get the away. On an interstate in Orlando, Florida. Yo, who are you trying to fish the a dash cam records a driver and his passenger reacting to a sports car behind them, driving aggressively. No front bumper, but he thinks he's a race car. The driver with the dash cam what the wanna do, bitch? appears to brake check in a legal move in Florida. Yeah, because he did, and he caught her. He, he to caught allegedly her on bump him from behind. The sports car driver speeds past, but a short while later, they meet up again. And this time, the driver with the dash cam claims the driver of the sports car threatens him by allegedly flashing a firearm. The dash cam driver then unwisely decides to call his bluff and follows the allegedly gun-toting motorist, which prompts the sports car driver to send a second, much clearer warning. You got that thing up. But this driver is also toting a weapon. Hey, everybody be blicked and up when the nowadays, other motorist man. Appears to pull the gun a third time. Can't this do that, driver bro. Can't brandish a weapon, bro. If you you gonna show it, you better it. use it, bro. The driver takes his hands off the wheel aims at the silver car and fires four rounds through his windshield, mm. sending shards of glass everywhere and terrifying his passenger. Crazy. <laughs> the dash cam driver <laughs> exits crazy, the highway man. and reports the incident to the police. I don't know how they'll justify that one. Marco Mazetta claims he felt threatened and was acting in self-defense. Oh no. According to Marco, he holds a valid Florida concealed carry permit. Mm. I wonder if they took it after that one. Yo, they do that. Not. Oh, crazy. Luckily, no one on the road was injured in the open gunfire. Shot a gun? But nonetheless, a scary and dangerous yeah, situation. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. That shows how I don't think that was worth it. You know, even small acts of road rage. You know, I don't what know, man. People brandishing weapons of a like that's weapon. a.
That's crazy, bro. I don't know, man. That's a little... That last one right there, I wanna, I, wanna, I gotta read up on that one. I wanna know if he got uh, justified for self-defense or did they actually charge him for, uh, you know, uh, firing off that firearm like that. Cause I couldn't, I, I mean, I don't know. I guess he said he felt threatened. And again, you know, everybody level of threatened or fear, you know, is different. I mean, me being in that situation, for one, if you go back and look in the beginning, he did do a brake check, and I was going to comment on that. Uh, no, no. You know what I mean? If you notice somebody, and again, this is me thinking from a logical standpoint. You know, years ago, yeah, I probably would have reacted differently. I, I wouldn't have shot no gun. That's not worth shooting no gun, though. But, you know, uh, you did that brake check. That, you know, let him go. You seen him speeding up on your bumper. Get out his way. Let him go. But you decided to, you know, you know, and up it a little bit. And that was number one no-no. So, uh, you know, that's why I say I want to know how that one ended. Because, you know, if I go back from the beginning of that and then you trying to say you felt threatened and, you know, I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a tricky one. That's a tricky I want to know. I want to know how that one ended. Anywho, man. Like I always say, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. You already know how it go, baby. I want to appreciate everybody for tuning in. Another one, Todd Town. As always, I appreciate the love and the support. If you haven't, please hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification button so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest content. You dig? I appreciate all the love. I do, I do. I see it, okay? And, hey, until next time, like always, I'm checking out. Peace. Yeah, whoa.